Amazing information from Bill Henderson about mercury amalgams and root canals and all these dental toxins that may be leading to cancer. But what if your drink, what if your soda was giving you cancer? Have you ever heard of aspartame? I wanted to get the opinion of Dr. Daniel Newsom and while I was in California, I was able to sit down with him and to get his opinion about aspartame that's in most diet sodas and its effect on our health. Google aspartame and look up all the different names for aspartame. There, it comes under quite a few different names in uh, not just an artificial sweetener. It has other chemical names and they, they'll, in the labeling process, they'll, they'll label it under different things. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't always say aspartame, okay? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> but is, uh, it, is it uh, toxic to us? It is very toxic. Um, uh, I always joke with my students that it's a preservative, you know, because it breaks down into formaldehyde. That's what they preserve dead bodies with. <laughs> <laughs> so what, It's not an antioxidant, though. So <laughs> what is the chemical makeup of aspartame? So you said it, it breaks down into it, formaldehyde. As, it, as aspartame is, is metabolized, it ends up as formaldehyde, okay. and formaldehyde is a toxic chemical itself. It's cancer-causing. It's a corrosive chemical. It's embalming fluid, it's an right? Embal it's what's embalming, exactly. That's yeah. what's in embalming fluid. Got it. That's what they use to preserve dead bodies, okay? It's the embalming fluid. Um, formaldehyde is, number one, a neurotoxin. Okay. Okay, and it was originally designed as a neurotoxin in biological warfare weapons, okay? It was a, a nerve gas component, okay? So when we eat, eat this, we ingest aspartame, it converts into formaldehyde and then starts to eat or corrode our nervous system. It's mm. toxic to our nervous system. Um, wow, so we're uh, eating something that was, that, that is potentially a biological, biological warfare. warfare agent. Yes, agent, yeah, exactly, exactly. Now. Um, the symptoms of neurotoxicity due to aspartame are identical to the symptoms of MS, multiple sclerosis. Mm. Identical. It can give you the exact same symptomology. Uh, and we've had, uh, we, I've had, uh, whew, I can't tell you how many patients that we've pulled off of uh, aspartame, off of all all artificial sweeteners of any kind, and uh, w their diagnosis for MS had to dis disappear. You know, disappear. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've read uh, in the literature about the the, the uh, initial days of aspartame mm -hmm. in the late '60s, early mm -hmm. '70s with G.D. Right. Searle, and apparently they found that it was eating holes in the brains of the rats or of the monkeys that the they monkeys. tested it on. Uh, exactly, it's a neurotoxin, and it it's corrosive. It does. It, it's um, in essence, uh, what salt does to a car, <laughs> you know, car yeah. body, it's, you know, yeah. it we saw that holes in it. Exactly. On the way, we were up in Detroit recently yeah. interviewing Dr. David Brownstein. Oh, very good. We yeah. drove up next to a car, and one of the guys, in, in, uh, one of our camera guys, was it Travis, was it you or Alan? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was Alan. Alan said, uh, look at the car, and the, and, and the whole, it was all just rotted out. Rotted said, out, it's Because exactly. they salt the roads up here. Exactly. So aspartame does the same does thing. does the exact same thing, does what salt would do to the body of a car, only it does it to your brain and your spinal cord. Are you thirsty for another diet soda now? I bet you aren't, after hearing that information from Dr. Newsom.